Hey everybody, welcome back to Sad Stories of Sadness. We're gonna be talking about motion sickness this time, because I get really bad motion sickness, and I have had a really bad bout of it recently. I went out with some friends a couple weeks ago. They wanted, well, we didn't go out. We went to one of their houses, but to get to their house, I needed to Uber to this other friend's house, and then they drove me, or no. I drove to my friend's house, they drove me to the other friend's house because I didn't want to deal with parking by that friend because parking can be difficult in some places. It was two days of this and the second day we took an Uber there and oh my god, Uber and driving, getting driven by other people, I can't do it. I just get wrecked. So I got super, super incredibly nauseous and then I spent the whole week being incredibly, incredibly nauseous. And this week, which is the week that the week before this video comes out. And I'm like, slightly better, <laughs> thankfully. I can drive my own car again for a little bit. I couldn't even drive my own car. Actually, I got so nauseous, I couldn't use the elevator like in a building anymore. I've never not been able to use an elevator. And I was like, what the actual heck is going on with me? How have I become this useless? <laughs> and I'm not super surprised. So I basically just stopped eating and that let my stomach quell down a little bit. But let's talk about the history of motion sickness and why it's been so sad for me. When I was younger, I spent so much time in a car with in the back seat, the tiniest seat of, of a car with two siblings in the middle seat rows. And I was either crunched in between them or shoved all the way in the back of if it was like one of those three row vehicles. And it was miserable, but I always had books and I always had video games to entertain myself and to like try and pass the time in a little less misery and then one day I woke up and I couldn't do it anymore I started getting nauseous I started getting like really claustrophobic I had to just keep my eyes closed and have the windows open and put my head out the window and in like I was in marching band and like they took us on like coach buses and that was really really bad so what I ended up doing is they had little AC units on the side and I'd always have the window seat and put my arm on it so that my arm would freeze and then distribute cool to the coldness to the rest of my body I guess and then like it'd be so fun though because like I freeze my arm and then I couldn't pick it up I would try to pick it up and it would just like not move and so then I pick it up with the other hand and then like go like Wee! and it would just collapse and so, but it was better than being motion sick because of being in the moving bus that I wasn't driving. Utterly awful. And I missed, I used to play Pokemon Red. I've got it right here. I'm not gonna grab it. I used to play Pokemon Red all the time in the car and it was really nice, you know, not having to deal with driving because now I have to drive myself everywhere. I'm gonna be driving for like 10 hours soon and I just, I can't, I'm, and because of the fact that I have this bout of motion sickness right now that's like extra aggravated, it's, oh my god. So yeah, wish me luck, and uh, yeah, that's my sad story of the week is, uh, I suffer from really bad motion sickness and it came out of nowhere and basically just means that now I can't take public transportation anywhere, can't really get an Uber to go places, can't honestly really just like take a break and have someone else take me somewhere. I have to always be the one driving and paying attention, and it's just really unfortunate. Anyways, yeah, that's all. See you guys.